It's me, Steph, and today I'm gonna be doing a makeup to makeup tutorial. No, I'm not making it that. I'm gonna be doing a makeup collection and kind of like a vanity tour of what you always see. This. So I'm gonna show you like all the stuff on the surface and in the drawers, which you can't even see I'm opening right now. But I thought it would be a fun video to film and something a little different. I'm trying to do like more different videos. If you saw my last video, it was like a vlog and I really like doing vlogs. So I'm going to start doing vlogs and other stuff, not just makeup tutorials because I really like making different videos too. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's just get right into it. Okay, so starting over here, I just have like my brush book. So if you don't know, um, this is like um, what I got for Christmas. And you can see that in my Christmas haul or I have a review on this on my channel. So... This just keeps all my brushes. It's a huge brush set from SL Miss Glam. I'll link her down below. Not all the brushes are in here, but some of them are. And it's just got a ton of really nice brushes. So if you're interested, I'll just link the website. And I just keep that there because it goes with like all my colors. Then I just have my mirror, which I use to do my makeup. Then I just have like some decorations. I made this little Chanel bottle. If you wanna see a DIY on this, I might do some DIYs later, like to show you like on a future video. And then I have like this mini emergency kit. It was just like went with the colors, so I put it there. And then I have this, which also went with the colors. And this is the Too Faced Beauty Balm um, box. And then I just have the thing that came with the chocolate bar palette. And it just has some looks, but, and sometimes I use that too. I don't know. Okay, so moving over to the other side of my vanity, I just have this brush, which is another SL Miss Glam brush. I love her brushes, and this is where I keep all of them in this mug that says More Issues Than Vogue. I love it, and then I keep all my perfumes and body mists over there. So now to go um, up, you can see the nail polishes, all my nail polishes. I also keep all my nail stuff here too. And my dad actually made that for me Christmas, not this year, but last year. Now we're gonna go into my vanity. Okay, so going into the first drawer, this is it. So in the back, I kind of keep my old palettes. I don't really use that much because they're like, they're like old makeup from like, and they're not really that good like you can see, but. I mean, I still use them, like, if friends come over and we want to just, like, play with them and stuff. Okay, so over here, I keep my foundations. So I just have, oh, that came off. I have this, and this is the Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm. It's, like, a light one. Great for summer. It's kind of tan for me now because I had it from summer last year. Then I have this L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I really like this. And that's probably my favorite foundation. This is the Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline. Then I have some random little things. This is like a little Clinique CC cream. I've got this highlighter stick, but I can't really use it because I don't have a sharpener and I use it like, so I had to like sharpen this, but it was really nice. I got this little weird makeup thing. I don't know. This was like when I went to the dollar store or something and I was just like, hate, like with my friend and we were just buying some random makeup. Then I got this and this is a CoverGirl concealer. Then I have this, and this is the NYX Cream Blush, and I've actually never used this in one of my makeup tutorials, but I definitely will be. This is like my favorite blush for summer. It is a cream blush, as I said. It's just so nice. Love it. And I have this random powder. I've got this Ulta Bronzer. I've got this, um, I think, Clinique blush, and it's just got like a lot of different colors. I've got this um, Maybelline cream blush and it's like a like a tint thing it's cool and then I've got my favorite blushes over here which are the two tart the Amazonian clay tart ones I have one in unstoppable and party then I have this and this is my favorite powder the Rimmel London stay matte powder as you can see I've already hit the bottom of the pan I just love this this is the only powder I really use then I've got my Becca Opal Highlighter. I've got some Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I got a uh, Master Prime Primer from Maybelline. And then over here are some of my face palettes. So I have the Naked Urban Decay Flush Palette. Uh, sorry, but <laughs> you can, like I have a bronzer, highlight, blush in there. I don't really use the blush that much, but I mostly use this for the bronzer. Then I have this Tarte Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle Palette. 
it's just a highlight contour perfect and then I have this I don't really use this this much that much but it's nice it's like a little contour palette you can already see I'm not gonna open it and then I just have this poop that I've never used but it came with the Laura Mercier powder I've got um, oh liquid opal liquid highlight I love this stuff then I have this beauty blender and the SL Miss Glam Beauty Sponge is my favorite. And I have some random little brushes I don't really use that much anymore back there. So moving over into the next drawer. Okay, in this drawer, I just keep all my eye and lip things. So I'm just going to get right into it. So first, I have some of the palettes. First, I have this one, which I usually reach for like every day. This is a Too Faced Chalk Bar. I'm sure you've probably seen it. And it just has a lot of great neutral colors. I love this palette. And it smells like chocolate. So I have that. And then I also have this one, which I don't reach for as often now, but I do like it a lot. And this is the Naked Free Palette from Urban Decay. And it's just like got really pinky colors. So it's like not as neutral. Like it's neutral pinks, but I just, I really love this palette too though. So then under that, I have this random Claire's palette, palette I don't really use anymore from when I was younger. And then this other palette that's just random that my mom gave to me. But these are like the two main palettes I have. Then over here, I have a bunch of like little mini ones. So I have this, which I love. And this is the um, e.l.f. paint pot. And um, I actually got this at the dollar store and it's really nice. So I have this like pink shade and... It, you can use it for like eyeliner or like a shimmer eyeshadow. I just love it. And then I have a bunch of like mini Clinique ones. So I'm just going to show you them really fast. Got that. That. Oh, I have this e.l.f. one. I love e.l.f. shadows. I don't have a palette for them. I really should get one because they're also like really affordable. And this one was also from the dollar store. I can't open it now. <laughs> so it's just got a nice shades, and I love that one. Probably like my favorite mini one. And then I have this like neutral one. Good for travel and stuff. I'm just going to show all of them. I know this is kind of a process. I don't really use that one that much. And then last one. I just get these like um, um, people give them to like, my mom and stuff. I don't know put all that stuff back okay and then all of these are like mascaras and eyeliners so I have my Tarte's uh, light camera lashes Clinique this one is my favorite for bottom lashes this is an NYC sky rise another Clinique Maybelline mega plush covergirl super sizer then I have liquid eyeliner Ulta hard candy NYX purple I don't know why I have purple really probably from one of my dance recitals from a few years ago then I have another uh, Wet n Wild Liquid Hard Candy Elf um, Cover Girl. And then I just have this brow, the L'Oreal Brow Pencil. I don't really do my brows that much, but I just wanted to try to do them a while ago. So I have one little brow product, but that's it. So then going into all the lip stuff back here, I'm going to take these out. These are where all my lipsticks are. So I've got Tarte Lip Paints. I got these too. And I've got this Tarte lipstick. Oh, slide it around. I've got Clinique. I've got, what's this? Um, Revlon. I don't know, a bunch of random stuff. And I also, yeah. And then I also have this. I don't want to show this one because this one right here. This is great for summer. This is like this Clinique duo. It's lip gloss and lipstick. So that's all my like, lipsticks. Then I have this and keep my lip gloss. And I have one lip liner in here. I don't know. My lip liners are probably mixed between the two. But I have like Wet n Wild, Milani, this Sephora one, Sephora, Ulta. Nothing too special. And then this one's like my lip balm, so I don't really have this, which is the Urban Decay Lake Fever, some samples of the primer. And then I have a bunch of baby lips and this um, Revo lip balm. Oh, yeah, I'm making a lot of noise right now. Okay, and that is all that are in my drawers. Okay, 
Okay, so now I wanted to get more in depth about my perfumes, which were on my vanity. So first of all, this like um, plate they're on is actually like a vintage. I think it was like my grandmother's, but my mom gave it to me. So I thought it was nice to keep and I really like vintage. Yeah. Okay, so most of these are actually body mists. I think one is perfume, but whatever. So first I have this and this is Tahiti Island Dream from Bath and Body Works. I like getting body mists because they're like lighter. It's not as strong and I like that. So then I have Endless Wheat. Endless. I don't know what I'm saying. Endless Weekend from Bath and Body Works. Pink Chiffon, which is like my favorite. I love it. It's like the beautifulest scent in the world. Then I have this. This is the Victoria's Secret Teas Body Mist. I've got this, which is not a perfume. It's from the Body Shop. It is a shimmer mist. So it's just really like if you like spray it on yourself, it just like rub it in and it makes your skin shimmery. And then I have this, and this is the One Direction perfume. I got this for Christmas, I think, two years ago when I was really into One Direction. I mean, I still like the perfume, but I'm not that into One Direction anymore. And I really want the Ariana Grande perfume. That would be cool. But um, then I have this. This is Sunset by the Pool from Bath & Body Works. Then I have... Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea from Bath & Body Works. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. I'd say this and Pink Chiffon are my favorites. And then Fresh Sparkling Snow. So those are all my perfumes and stuff. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked this, then give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time.